This video will help you with the installation of the VNS 2720 wireless beacon light. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdrivers, electric drill, level, ribbed plastic anchors, and screws. First, let's get familiar with the VNS 2720 connections. On the back of the unit, there are two wires, red and black, for power input. The VNS 2720 can be powered using its AC power adapter, external DC power of 6 to 50 volts, or a PoE adapter. The VNS 2720 is designed to be installed on a wall or ceiling for best visibility. The most appealing way for installation is on a drywall or drop ceiling panel, with the power cable and connections being hidden. When selecting location to install the VNS 2720, make sure there is a nearby AC or low voltage power source. A low voltage power source could be up to 100 feet from the installation location. Make sure to check, verify, and mark the power wire's polarity. Verify that the selected installation area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. If an AC power outlet is not available, an alternate power option is to use a PoE solution to provide power to a VNS 2720 using Ethernet cable and PoE adapter. Hold the VNS 2720 firmly against the wall or ceiling panel and mark the two mounting screws hole locations. Using the electric drill, drill the marked mounting holes and insert the ribbed plastic anchors. Use electrical wire caps to connect the VNS 2720 red wire to the positive power wire and the black wire to the negative power wire. Make sure the polarity matches the markings on the power wire. Place the VNS 2720 on the wall, insert two screws, and tighten the screws into the anchors to secure the unit to the base. Apply power to the VNS 2720. The installation is done and the unit is ready to be tested.